Hey guys, and welcome to another weekly challenge in Phasmophobia. This week we had audio only, and it ended up being very interesting, just as we managed to get a hold of some extra audio equipment. You'll have to use your ears on this one. So it was a lot of fun, and I hope you enjoy. They don't even give us tier three. <gasps> Wait! Hey, hey, it's tier three um, spirit box, tier two ghost writing book, and tier two dots. That's actually not bad. They didn't give us tier one ass equipment. Uh, no crucifixes though, okay. And for some reason they gave us the tier one photo camera, but I'm probably not even gonna be using that, it's fine. Unless we need to do like a phantom check or something like that. Let's see, thank you Sammy for that shout out. And Vexorin, welcome on in, how are you doing today? Let's see, uh, oh, and it is tier three paramic. I'm not gonna lie guys, I am not a large fan of the paramic anymore. Ever since they made it so that your audio outside of the paramic is muffled, it feels like it has been severely nerfed because like, Unless you're pointed directly at a noise, you're going to miss activity around you from the ghost, and I'm not here for it. But we got Anne Knight. Uh, let's go and see if we can find ourselves a ghosty. Is this tier 1 or tier 2? It looks like tier 1. Oh, son of a bitch, so I don't get a video camera unless I'm on multiplayer? Oh, that's- that's garbage! <laughs> okay, alright, it's fine, it's fine, we'll be fine. Let's see. And hey, Bug, welcome on in. And good luck. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. How are you doing today? Solo Sunny Meadows, you need to get your popcorn. Do it. So you're exhausted. It's 2 p.m. But other than that, you're good. Dreading this weekly. That is fair. I am not looking forward to this either. Do we have a breaker? That is the question. If I remember correctly from the last time we did this, the breaker was broken. Oh, I do have a hiding spot here. I need to boost everything. Like, screen brightness needs to go up. Like, I can't fucking see. Can I please... Turn up my screen brightness. Ah, there it goes. Okay. And we'll par probably boost the in-game brightness as well. Whoop. Oh, that's bright. That's very bright. Uh, can whoops, what am I doing? We'll do to like 2.4, I think is where I like it. Or it's not too co contrasty, but hopefully bright enough we can actually see. Correct breaker is broken. Damn it. All right, so I won't even bother. Punch! It's so good to see you again! Thank you so much for- what is that? The four months? Thank you! I really appreciate that. How are you? Let's see, wandering around the map, missing a door- Oh, actually, yeah, that's gonna be my strat. I'm gonna go around and, uh, close any door that is open. If we come back around a second time and a door that I have obviously closed is then open, we'll know right where the ghost is. That is some OG Asylum strat right there, uh, and it might be very, very useful for this challenge. Let's see. You're about to run some errands, saw you live, so of course you had to drop in. I'm so glad you did. Guys, if you don't know Punch Muffin, also an amazing, amazing, amazing streamer, one of my favorites, please go and check her out if you ever get a chance. Can I get a shout out, please? Uh, let's see, somebody ruined it for you. Need to find out who. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> let's see. Amateur sanity drain, though. Is it? Oh, I feel like the sanity drain was, like, even worse than amateur. But maybe it is just amateur. Because, yeah, that, I was saying that before we even hopped in here. I was like, I remember the sanity drain being so horribly slow that it was so frustrating. Okay, I can't close that door. Uh, let's go down to the basement. So far, I'm not hearing anything. Did I ever play Asylum? I did. Fun, fun story. The first map I ever played solo was actually OG Asylum because I was so scared to play solo that I was like, I'm gonna start on the worst map possible, the scariest map possible, and then work my way back. So after I did OG Asylum by myself, all of the other maps were a piece of cake solo. So, uh, nothing seems out of place. Could you stop screaming? Guys, I'm trying to listen for ghosty sounds. Jesus Christ, quit stubbing your toe. All right, so far, no doors are open. It doesn't start with all doors closed, because it kind of feels like it is. So that's actually really, really good. So then if we see an open door, we can immediately be suspicious. That's just an ambient noise, okay. You miss it. I kind of miss it too, mostly just for, like, the memes. I wish they would let us still have OG Asylum, just for, like, shits and giggles, really. Just have like a disclaimer on it of like, th this. we know this map sucks, use at your own risk, like kind of deal. <laughs> That'd be kind of fun, but... I, I get why they took it away from us though, because it just, it doesn't work well with what the game has be become, so... Hate this area of the map, it's so creepy. Oh, I freaking love that area. Like when I'm specifically trying to use Paramike though, it's very frustrating trying to find an actual like ghost sound, but I love the ambience in that part, it's so fun. Let's see. 
Are you sure? Let's see. The time you learned she and her friends went to another club. Oh, you saw her. You had some shots. Okay, okay, okay. What is that point or that 16 decibels that's not going away? Is that significant? Excuse me? Excuse me? You missed Bone Hunt on Asylum. <laughs> I still remember, like, the most fun part about OG Asylum was, like, playing hide-and-seek with friends. Uh, that was a fun time. It sucked for all, like, ghost hunting reasons. Like, it was- there was so little things for the ghost to interact with on OG Asylum. It was such a pain in the ass. It'd be fun to have a map as- have a- as a map for no rewards. As a legacy install- I just heard a throw! Excuse me! Excuse me! Ghosty? Are you over here? I'm pretty sure I just heard a throw. I think I think I got a, 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 a ghosty. Do not offer to buy her an iPhone. Good. That's good. That's always a good start. And like fourth shot, she gave you that man you could... Wait. Kiss me sig signal? What? I don't... I don't know what that means. I'm not gonna lie. I don't... <laughs> I found a ghosty! I don't know which room it's actually in, but the ghost is definitely over here. I just got a whisper. Um, so I'm gonna go grab... Did they give us a thermo? I can't remember. <laughs> okay, I'm not seeing my, uh, uh, any of my breath here. And for you, Zoo, welcome on in. How are you doing today? Have I played Demonologist? I have. Yeah, it's a, it's an okay game. Great graphics, but, uh, feels a little bit shallow for what it's worth. Okay, ghost, can you please do something? Where did you throw something? Oh, in here? Okay, perfect. It just threw something while I was in the same room as it, so chances are it's not a shade, but we'll kind of keep an eye on that, because that can definitely bug. Oh, I would also like to say we're going to be screwed uh, for the zero evidence runs that we were going to do after we finish this challenge, because yeah, I was doing zero evidence on my own earlier today, just because like I had a little bit of downtime. I'm trying to level back up so I can prestige again. I had a Diogen do a Polter Explosion. So game is working great today. <laughs> I was so confused because like I heard the explosion. I went, I checked the activity board. Sure enough, there was that huge spike. And I was like, yeah, it's gotta, it's gotta be a poltergeist. Checked for orbs, make sure it wasn't a mimic and then left. And it was like, nah, it was a Diogen. And I was like, fucking bullshit. Fucking bullshit right there. Features, not, not bugs. <laughs> Let's see, UD was pretty good, did not compliment her appearance. And if he asked you, it was the topic of her friend's group chat, like, the moment you appeared. Aw, that's good. That's a good sign. That's like, yeah, so it sounds like, it sounds like she might be interested back. So that's great to hear, Socket Man. I'm glad to hear that. Demon Elves just scared you at first until you realized everything is trigger-based and remembered peak Phasmo. Yeah, see, that, that was kind of my problem, where a lot of the jump scares in Demonologist are just scripted. There's not a lot going on. Let's try Spirit Box. And like, so uh, the best comparison I had was that it's like going through a haunted house where it's fun the first few times you go through and then it, it, it wears off. And so it looks pretty, but like depth wise, replayability, it was just never there for me. Let's see. Uh, where are you? Are you near? Close to an okay, I'm going to say that's a yes. That's a yes. So it could still be a Maroi. We should go check my sanity because if I uh, if it is a Maroi, when I got that whisper on the paramic, that means I got cursed by the Maroi, so my sanity will be uh, dropping at two times the rate of being in the dark on whatever map you're on. Let's see, you had invisible ghosts. Oh yeah, the dots bug. I have yet to see that for myself. So for people that don't know what that is, uh, there is a bug that is happening right now where whenever the go ghost goes into like its dot phase, if you have a ghost with dots evidence, there is a chance that the ghost will then try to initiate a hunt. And if it's in its dots phase, it will remain invisible unless you are around the dots projector, even during the rest of that hunt. And it's uh, super terrifying. I have not gotten that for myself yet. I hope it doesn't happen to me. <laughs> that actually sounds like it would be... It would look pretty cool, but also sounds like a really bad bug. That's like, well, as like the the problem is, is like it wouldn't be cool. The ghost would just be invisible, and I would I would die from being scared. Okay, we don't have salt either. Oh, how am I supposed to do a wraith test? You suck. I hate it here. All right, uh, so we're still at eighty seven percent sanity, ninety ish. I feel like is that normal sanity drain for this, or is this faster than average? Does anybody know if this is like, because I feel like my sanity's actually dropping 
more than I expected it to. So I don't know if I was just wrong about how slow it is or if this is a Roy. <laughs> Because it feels faster than what I remember. Actually, I'm going to take in a uh, candlelight. Let's see. Oh, yeah. So with the wraith, of course. Of course. Uh, so wraiths will not be able to step in salt piles. So all other ghosts, if you place the salt somewhere where they like walk through it, they will disturb the salt, walk away. If it's a ghost with a UV evidence, you can uh, use the UV light to then you know, look for footsteps. Whereas a wraith will just never step through it, even during hunts. Like that, So the best way to test for a wraith is find the ghost's favorite room, put down salt uh, with motion sensors above it, or buy it, and if the ghost is like consistently going through the motion sensor and never stepping in the salt, there's a very good chance that it's a wraith. And if you can get the ghost to walk through the salt, obviously, like, have it walk directly across a, a light of salt during a hunt, and it doesn't step through it, again, very obvious sign that it's a wraith. I was like, yeah, of course, talking about that sounds like a great plan. Like I say, I I, I should not be giving dating advice, so I'm, I'm going to try and like keep what I'm saying brief because <laughs> I don't want to give you bad advice. Hey, look, a ghost. All right, I'm going to go ahead. Let's see if we can get like a banshee scream or something. Let's just kind of spend some time here, see how the ghost is behaving. Excuse me. Can I get a hoya from the ghosty? And if it ends up being an early hunter, we can always hide back here, so that's fantastic. How does the tier 3 salt work with wraiths? Same way, uh, the wraith will never step through it. So that was actually the like the best way uh, I figured out a wraith, was I put down the tier 3 salt during a, a, a hunt, right? And I was waiting to hear the ghost slow down. So for people that don't know, tier 3 salt, when you place it and the ghost walks through it during a hunt, it will actually slow down the ghost. And I was trying to use that to my advantage, but the ghost did not slow down, and I was like, what the fuck? And then I realized, yeah, it was a wraith. So they just ignored the salt pile. They will not be slowed down. It was kind of hilarious. <laughs> it Excuse me? Well, this is an early hunter, then. Oh, that's true. Could it actually be not an early hunter. Not an early hunter. It could actually just be Maroi. If our sanity has dropped that much, absolutely probably a Maroi. Especially since... <laughs> Try to decide. Was that normal speed? It kind of sounded normal speed, but if our sanity is in the range of like 40%, like a Maroi would basically sound normal. That's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, the, the speed, it was like, it might have started slightly slow, and then it was like kind of increasing to where it was sounding normal. I need to run though. I need to run. So let's see what my sanity's at. Because either. Either that was an early hunt, or yes, it's a Maroi. But also, I have to I have to let you guys know that I'm getting a call from Iran right now, and I don't know how I feel about that. Who the hell is calling me from Iran? Excuse me? <laughs> oh my god. Eh. They also told you to stay calm, try not to overwhelm her. Of course, that, that is great advice. <gasps> nope, that's just an early hunt. Okay, so it cannot be a Maroi, cannot be a Diogen. Excuse me? So it's a Mimic. Uh, because none of these ghosts can early hunt at that high sanity. Like, none of them can do that. There's not a single ghost on this list that can hunt above 80% sanity. So it's gotta be the Mimic. What if it's in the chapel? Uh, it's not in the chapel. I'm confused. Because we definitely have the ghost down at the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> so no, it, it definitely is not a non-Rio. Um, so we're gonna go. I can't check for orbs because I'm not on multiplayer, so I can't use the head cams. Let's see. Did it blow out my candle three times? I don't think so. It was only twice. I, I'm pretty sure. 
I forgot that, yeah, we did have the candle in there, but it was on the second blowout, not third. Because it didn't- Oh, son of a bitch. I- I failed miserably. Okay. Hey, everybody. Um, future- future Amber here. Uh, not knowing what happened here, I was- I was 100% right. The Onryo should not have been able to hunt me. So it did only blow out the candle twice. The Onryo and able to early hunt at any sanity has to blow out a candle three times. So I was right and this was in fact a bug. Okay, okay, let's get back to it. As yeah, in my head, it hadn't blown out the candle long enough. So for people that don't know, uh, an Onryo can early hunt at any sanity if it blows out a candle three times. I did not think we were there yet. So that was my mistake. Um that I can't count, so it's fine. It's fine. Let's go. <laughs> Counting's overrated. Yeah, PTSD from getting early hunted by Onryos on this map. And see, if we had been, like, if the ghost room had been by the chapel, I would have been like, oh, heck yeah, it could have happened. But since we were as far away from the chapel as possible, I didn't think that was going to happen. Uh, I just saw my breath immediately. What weather are we in? Oh, it's snow. Okay. So we'll probably just see my breath everywhere then. And so you're, you're really good? I'm glad to hear that, Xerzex. Hope I'm having an amazing day. I was having an amazing day until I made dumb decisions, and it's fine. <laughs> now I'm having an okay day. What is this? This 11 is not going away. Is there a ghost in here? Hello? Oh, ghosty? Because it could have just been an ambient noise that was taking a while to, to drop. So far, I'm not... Well, that's ominous as fuck. All right, I think I found a ghost. I think I found a ghost. <laughs> oh my god, how did I get so lucky? It just threw the bell. Uh, where are you? Are you here? Where are you? Can you give me a sign? Are you here? Okay, so far nothing with spirit. Box. Where are you? Can you give me a sign? Ring, 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 bell of death? Let's see. Um, is there one? I, I actually have no idea. The only one that I'm like always like, yeah, there's a camera in this room is the chapel. Uh, but there might be. Let's go check. Can't see. Okay. So far, I'm not seeing Orbeez, but we do need to keep in mind there's a chance that it's, like, below where we can see. Uh, so that's kind of unfortunate. So it's, like, a half-room camera. So I still wouldn't say we can rule out Orbeez, but we'll keep an eye on it. Hmm. Because uh, do we have any other angles of that room? We probably don't. Nah. Because that would be cool if we could see Orbeez immediately and just know that there's a chance it's a mimic. Hey, yeah. Why do we have a camera of the van? I always, I always have that question. Why do they waste time putting a camera facing the van? Like, who the hell cares about that? <laughs> like, why, why bother with that? Okay. Put that down. All right, can you give me some uh, Orby or not Orbeez, uh, some Dotties, please? Please and thank you. So you can watch yourself while you watch yourself. That seems very odd. In, in co case the ghost escapes into the van. <laughs> oh, that sounds terrifying. I have, I actually, I think that was just people hacking the game though, because I have seen like people posting things that were like, the ghost showed up in the van. And I'm just like, ah, that's gotta be a hacker, right? Well then. <laughs> Easiest game of my life? Please don't be a fucking mimic. If you are a mimic, I will cry. I'm banking on that we didn't see orbs, but... <laughs> what is this blessed run? I wasn't even out of the grace period yet. Excuse me? Excuse me. Well, there you go. Speed running, how long did that take? I need to know. Detailed statistics. Three minutes and 36 seconds on Sunny Meadows, full size. Let's go. Phasmo felt bad for me. They're like, aw, this poor woman, she can't even count. We better give her an easy one. <laughs> uh, 
So yeah, I, I told you guys I was tired, so I'm not surprised that I can't count today, but... Nice banshees are lovely, right? Fix your posture, you gremlin. I have no posture, so how am I supposed to fix, fix it, Jen? How? Tell me your seat. No, I'm just kidding. Thank you for the hydrate and stretch. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That whole thing. All right, can we get lucky again? Where's the ghosty? I'm waiting for, like, a morgue ghost or something. Okay, I'm still not hearing anything. I see no open doors. This is gonna be the one where it takes us a year to find the ghost room, so that's great. This is gonna be a fun time. Cause yeah, I think that's probably the hardest part of this challenge, is just trying to figure out where the hell the ghost is. Especially with all the ambient noise, cause like, everything shows up on the paramic now. And it can make it very, very frustrating, especially on this map. Like, honestly, I, I don't necessarily like the changes they made to the paramic. I, I miss old paramic where it was kind of maybe a little bit OP, but I liked it. It was useful. Now it's just kind of like, mm, sometimes useful, but not like consistently. Hello? Is there a ghost anywhere here? I think maybe if they just made it so that it doesn't muffle the other sounds while you're using it, I might like it again really i didn't even need a paramic for that you did that right while i was here you dumb ass okay we got a ghost where are you are you near where are you can you give me a sign where are you okay so far nothing with spirit box <gasps> Thank God they gave us the tier 3 spirit box, because uh, if they gave us tier 1, that would be the worst challenge ever. Like, that would be so frustrating. It was OP at finding the ghost was sort of balanced by not actually giving evidence. Like, kind of, yeah. Like, I was okay if they kind of, like, nerfed it maybe a little bit. Like, that's totally fine. Because uh, the old paramic did have a problem where it would show a noise that was made by the ghost, and then that, that symbol, or not symbol, but, like, that signal, there's the word, that signal would just stay forever there basically like it would last for like two minutes so you would just have to walk around the room find or around the map find literally any spike of a number that just wouldn't go away and you're like boom there's the ghost room so like if they had just made it so that we didn't get those like forever there signals it would have been perfect i stand by that and now we got ourselves a ghost room let's go see if we can get dots and or ghost writing uh what was that there was a four spike. There was the tail end of a four spike going off the... <gasps> nope, that's three. That's not important. I thought it was four again. Again, guys, I can't count. I'm not good at counting. Um, But if we see a couple of like four and or five spikes, that could actually mean we have EMF five. Because we, we don't have an EMF to check in the map. But if we're regularly seeing like four and five spikes, could mean we got EMF five. So that's something we can definitely look for. I don't think there's a camera back in that area. What is this room? I can't tell. Hello. And hey, fellow Brax, welcome on in. How are you doing today? Let's see, what's the difference between the different tiers for Spirit Box? Oh, that, that's not a dumb question whatsoever, because that's actually very, very important to know. Because uh, tier one has very limited range. Uh, so you have to be within two meters of the ghost uh, to have a chance to get a response, but the chance of getting a response is super fucking low. As in, I made sure I was within, a, like, basically in the exact same spot as a ghost during one investigation, and it took me 42 recognized uh, questions to finally get a response, and it's kind of ridiculous. Excuse me. Four spike? Four spike? I think that's EMF5. Boom. Boom, baby. Okay. Uh, and then when you go up to tier two, your uh, chance of getting a response is greater, and then you have an increased range. So the tier two has a three meter range that the, the ghost needs to be in to get a response. And then tier three, same, same, same thing where your chance of getting a response is even higher and the range is even greater where it ups it to four meters that you have to be near the ghost to get a response. Uh, so that's that's the main. I think those are the only differences. Hopefully, I'm not forgetting anything. But Vexerin, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Look at that, two months. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Mighty brain cell, so that I may be <laughs> regain my ability to count. <laughs> thank you, Mango. I need that. I need that. Like we should have had that, Audrio. I I don't know why I didn't think that it had been three blows out of the candle. I thought we were on the first one. I feel so, like, we should have had it. We should have had it. Oh, yeah. Put that to- Oh!
Oh my god. Okay, so I immediately know it cannot be a Gorio because I am seeing dots with my eyes and off of a camera while I'm in the ghost room. Gorio will only show dots via a video camera when you're outside of the ghost room. So boom, immediately. Not a Gorio. Uh, can you give me a sign? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Okay, so I definitely don't think we have Spirit Box. So I'm gonna go ahead and rule that out. Because I believe it's all evidence. We're looking at either Raiju or Oni. Oh god. Uh, let's see. For this update, you know the spike slash drops an activity of exactly five met EMF5. Is there something like that now? Oh yeah, yeah. So there's still that. So um it's a little less reliable than it used to be because a lot of things can actually cause like fake spikes now. Um but if you see four or five spikes on the activity monitor, especially when you are not in the map, more often than not, it'll end up being EMF5. Not always, there are a couple of ghost abilities that can show that, but the way that it works is, oh my god, it's not an Oni, it's a Raichu. <laughs> Fucking run. Fucking run, it's a Raichu. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Um, anywho. <laughs> Assuming I am right about EMF5, um, if I am not right about the, the spikes, then whoops, we got played, but, like, I think it's a better, it's more likely than not that the four, four spikes I'm seeing are EMF5, because they were happening while I was not in the map, so if you are in the map, there's always a chance that the four and or five spikes on the activity monitor are caused by a ghost event that you just didn't see. That can definitely happen, um... I was gonna say, so, so, okay, yeah. So, how the activity monitor works is that it'll show an approximation of the true EMF value. So, in this game, you know, uh, most interactions cause EMF 2, throws cause EMF 3, uh, ghost event causes EMF 4, uh, and then only EMF 5 ghosts can give EMF 5. So, uh, this right here was the ghost event, uh, so that is not EMF, but this one was not a ghost event. There was only one ghost event happening, so that one is probably EMF 5. Here is, no, that's a three spike, but, uh, so it gives the true EMF value minus one plus or minus one, if that makes sense. So an EMF five in the map can end up showing a three, four, or five spike on the activity chart. Uh, but an EMF two can also show zero, a spike in zero, one, or two, uh, an EMF three can show one two or three spikes uh a ghost event is a little bit different where it can show a larger spike so like even though it's, it's technically emf4 value given off in the map it can show up as like a spike in anything between two to ten like ghost events are a little bit different but then emf5 can show up as the as a spike in three four or five again I've, i think i already said that but since i'm again seeing four spike four spike Four spike. Like, there are so many four spikes while we are not on the map that I'm fairly confident that we have EMF5. We know it can't be an Oni because it did Ghost Breath event. We know it can't be a Gorio because we saw dots with our eyes. So hopefully it should be a Raiju. I'm seeing Demetric, welcome on in. And Didikis, hey, it's good to see you. Welcome, welcome. And Ashy, welcome on in. It's good to see everybody. Now I'm running away screaming because Raiju is the ghost that I have the most death to. So I'm, I'm getting out of here. Welcome back. <laughs> So yeah, that was obviously a Raiju. You have to do it with friendly ghost on, right? Uh, use the monkey's paw to ask for what? Right, Ushigi? What? <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure we don't- there is no cursed item on this, right? I- I remember that from the last time we did this challenge. I'm pretty sure there was no cursed possession. Have they changed that? Okay. Yes, I don't know what Fushigi is, and you don't need to yell at me. Don't you yell at me for that. My life experiences are different from your life experiences. <laughs> Stop screaming at me. <laughs> this is where you politely say, oh, you've never had that before. Let me explain it to you. Um, any ghost. <laughs> what, what, what is it? Tell me, I need to know what it is. <laughs> The suspense is actually killing me right now. Thank you, thank you, yeah. No need to yell at me. <laughs> what, biggest scam as a child. What? What is it? What is it? I don't know what it is. Is it a food? Is it a... 
Somebody, somebody explain it to me. I need to know now. I'm so curious. Breath in the office. Uh, but I believe we're in cold weather again. So like, there is just a chance that I saw my breath because it's just cold in general. I actually didn't look though. What it, what weather are we in? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I see snow falling. I'm pretty sure. So it's just cold weather. So I wouldn't say immediately that that means anything. But it could end up being that that is the ghost room. We'll see. We'll see. So far, I haven't heard any activity though. Uh, let me go ahead and actually close this door. Let's close all the doors. So if we come back and one of the doors is open, then yeah, it's probably in there. But it is just cold weather. So there is a chance that it means nothing. Let's see. It was like a magical anti-gravity ball. And the Carousals would always yell at you. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I've never heard of that before. It's really just a metal ball. And the commercials made it seem magical. Actually... Now that you say that, I might have seen these commercials because it was like this weird, like wonky thing. I think I might know because, yeah, here I'm seeing my breath in the hallway, too. So, yeah, I think that's just cold weathers. Let's see. Oh, no, no worries, Road. No worries at all. Because if because honestly, I hadn't actually like noticed what weather it was. My brain is always just assuming breakers off. So cold or uh, yeah, like cold breath is not nearly as important as it would be if the breaker was on. But I should pay attention to that to what weather we're in, because that will change it. Because if we're in warm weather, and if I see my breath, that's very, very significant. But so far, I'm not seeing anything. Ghosty Poo Poo, where are you? Good movie, plus Emily Blunt and John Krasinski are attractive people. <gasps> this is an open door. Uh, I think the ghost is probably here. Because all doors have started closed, and this one is open. I could be wrong, but let's see if we can get a whisper. I mean, you're... Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Where are you? Right here. Right here, you say? Well, thank you so much. That was such a clear response. I appreciate that. I'm hoping we get, like, immediate dots again, because that would be fantastic. Come on, come on. Because I, I wish I, I had, like, started a timer of when I entered the map, so then I could have compared, so, like, in the last... However long we've been in the map, we lost 10% sanity. I wish I could compare it. I should have done that. Lose 0. Point, or 0.05% per second. That's like, yeah, unfortunately, I don't want to do the math. <laughs> That's too much math. How, how much would it be per, per minute? Somebody, somebody do the math for me. Because like per second is too hard to keep track of. You can also try to listen for like a banshee scream. If we get... A whole bunch of whispers with no Banshee scream. We can probably rule out Banshee. 3% per minute. Okay, perfect, perfect. And hey, Eclipse, welcome on in. How are you doing today? Oh, ghost riding! Yes! Okay, so we have a spirit box and ghost riding. So here we are again. It could still be a Mirai. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> oh my god. Because what is the other, what is Maroi's other evidence? Isn't it ultraviolet? No, just kidding. Freezing temps, that's the one. So yeah, we can't check for freezing temps because we do not have a thermometer. Uh, Banshee's not an option, so I don't know why I'm still holding this. And again, Diogen would be dots. So far, I haven't seen dots. Okay, so far, it's not throwing a heck ton. But again, we can make a polter pile. Let's just throw everything in here. Wait, what else is interactable? Put that there. All right, do a polter explosion. Where are you? Are you close to Are you here? Where are you? I'm close to him. How old are you? When a young assailant. <laughs> I swear I just said young assailant, and I have questions, but. Then Garfield is in the chat, and he's great at finding IPs. Oh my god. I mean, you joke about that, but he's always watching. Right there. Always watching. <laughs> uh. Come on, Ghosty. Do something. I guess uh, let's kind of try for mayor ability. Still not seeing dots, so probably not Diogen. You can go back to the uh, board to see if my sanity is dropping kind of more rapidly now, or if we see any EMF5 spikes. 
Okay. So, I would say not a Maroid then, because we went from 90% to roughly 80%. Uh, assuming that uh, you are right, Road, and we're losing 3% per minute, that should be about right. And it, because uh, the Maroi would then be increasing it from 3% per minute to 6% per minute, so not a Maroi, I would say. Because we've barely lost any sanity. So we're looking at either Spirit, Poltergeist, or Mare. So far, it's not doing a lot of throws, so I'd say probably not a Poltergeist. We're looking at either Mare or Spirit. Spirit would have EMF 5, though, so maybe we can get lucky and see EMF 5. I was like, yeah, fingers crossed. Like, this is actually super hard to tell how fast my sanity is dropping, just because I'm used to playing with, like, 200% sanity drain uh, on my custom settings. So having it be this slow is actually insanely hard. <laughs> <gasps> Come on, Ghosty. Do something. Like, it's being very, very inactive. Let's, let's try to get, like, a mare ability. Do I have smudges? I do not. No smudges on this challenge. Start when you can't spirit test and the evidence doesn't rule spirit out, right? Because, yeah, I can't say, no, we don't have EMF 5. The only hope of, like seeing any emf5 is from the activity monitor but a, an emf5 in the map can show up as a three spike and that just looks like anything like in, basically anything can cause a three spike on the activity monitor where am i going i'm going the wrong way that's where i'm going so like we can never fully say no we don't have emf5 it's just a matter of luck that we see it if we do have it okay lots of door touches still no sign of dots though Come on, baby. Show us something. Give us something to work with. Um, Touching door. Oh, oh, it's a bear! That's the bear ability right there. We got it. We got it. We got it. Easy. <laughs> uh, it did the thing. It did the thing. So, yep, there it was. Because I flipped the light switch on and it immediately shut it off. So, confirm. It does still work if the lights are not on, like, on the map. So if the breaker's broken, you can still get the mirror ability. I was pretty sure about that, but I haven't been able to, like, test that in a really long time. So I'm glad I can finally get some confirmation that it still works that way. Unless, hear me out, there is a chance that it was just one of the other ghosts that was going to interact with the light switch at the same time we went to toggle it. I have had that happen before, but most likely this is a mirror ability because mirrors are one of, one of our choices. So there we go. There we go. And before it's a bug. <laughs> right? Uh, but yeah, it could happen. It could happen. Because I've definitely had an Oni that did something that looked like the mare ability. I think I've had a Myling do it too. Because there is just a slight chance that the ghost was going to turn it off anyways. And it just seemed like a mare ability. But boom. So thank you guys so much for joining me. And I hope you enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And subscribe for future Phasmophobia content if you haven't done so already. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.